popping. So like say, say back in the day, if a girl worked at Dreams, she didn't work at what other club? She didn't work at Fetish, mm -hmm. or she didn't work at. Uh, Show your face. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right? We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Anonymous underscore. Alright, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, it's looking like we finally got a break in this takeoff case, man. And this comes just days after, actually a day or two after Cameron Joshua, a.k.a. Lil' Cam, appeared in court for his role in Takeoff's murder, in which it wasn't really any type of role. Um, They made it clear that he has no type of involvement in it. However, he's being charged with unlawful possession of a weapon. That's where a lot of people get it confused. But today, they finally have a suspect in custody, and they are actually very, very positive that he is the shooter in Takeoff's murder now he's being charged um a 33 year old man has been arrested on a murder charge and a fatal shooting of the rapper takeoff outside a bowling alley in houston last month the city's police chief said this friday which is today now chief troy finner of the houston police department announced in a news conference that the man who name is patrick xavier clark was arrested in houston on thursday evening um, another man, Cameron Joshua, as we spoke about, which is 22 years old, was arrested last month and charged with unlawful carrying of a weapon. But once again, I don't understand how that coincides to the takeoff case. And it really doesn't. Like I explained in the um, previous video, they made they just tried to like butter people up with that one. You know, try to butter you up and make it seem like they're, they're doing great police work. However, him possessing a weapon has nothing to do with that case. And his attorney made it very clear that in the affidavit, it said that Little Cam did not shoot takeoff. You know, he just possessed a weapon unlawfully. So it's two different things. So um, he might be charged with that in his other cases because he had previous cases as well, but not in the takeoff murder. And if they try to do that, I, I don't know. But anyway, um... Let's speak on Patrick Xavier um, Clark. As we know, from my understanding, they're saying he's a popular DJ down there in Houston, Texas. Uh, he goes by the name of DJ Pat. You know, I'm not too fond of him or whatever. If y'all do have any information on him, y'all let us know in the comments, you know, and um, make us aware of who he actually is. But, um, yeah, this is the man that they saying did it, y'all. So let's see what comes out of this. I feel like personally... Um, Maybe they're trying to rush it because people want answers right now. We really don't know who's who or what's what. I want to know their motive. As of right now, they just put out that he's the suspect, but I want to know more. I want to know the motive. What made them go after Patrick and say that he was the sole shooter? You know, do they have any eyewitness? Do they have evidence, whether surveillance, you know, uh, ballistic reports? What? You know, and as DJ Academics pointed out, the video was edited. The video that we got from TMZ, we seen everything. Um, it was edited, so who knows what's really going on? You know, so let's see what's going on. Um, as time progress, you know, I guess they're gonna give us more information. Um, also, peak too. They say he was 33 years old. As y'all know, if you're familiar with Gematria, that whole 33 number. You know what it symbolizes. I'm going to just leave it there if you know, you know. But anyway, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.